Hello, and welcome to the Slow Stitching series, Stitch the Season, for Christmas 2021. Now my videos start with a planning and prep video, and I'll link all of them below. And each day, I'll release a different prompt for 10 prompts for the season. Today's video, we're up to prompt five. And it's kind of a fun prompt. The prompt is snowman. And I'll take you through my process. So to make our snowman, you can make this by making yo-yos, doing applique, anything you'd like. But I found some buttons here, some white buttons in two sizes, and some kind of almost frosted buttons here. Got a little black scrap, a little ribbon here for the scarf of my snowman. And then I found this little backing fabric. It's just gray fabric with little white dots. It reminds me of snow falling. I was thinking of maybe using that right on my piece. So I'll start by cutting that down to size. And I want it to just be a little smaller than my piece, my front piece of my ornament. So I like the way that kind of looks there. A little wonky. Could flip it around, see how I like it. Now to make my snowman, I want to have two snowballs there, the base, the head, and then I want to make a little hat that I'm going to cut out of this, this little vinyl fabric here. So my big piece here, my big buttons, are a little bit big, especially if I want that hat. So I think I'll have to move down to the smaller size white buttons. Maybe I'll make two snowmen as long as I'm at it. So that's kind of cute. And now I need the snowman hats. So these are like the little stovepipe hats. And that's a little big. There we go. And I'll cut this size to match. And then I'm going to embroider the brim. I think that'll be a good way to hold it down. And then I'll work on those little scarves after I tack it down. So I like the way that's coming out. I want to start now by just tracing little areas where I'm going to put my little buttons here. And I'll just make a little curve there so I know where the buttons are going to go. And I'll start here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to attach that button. So I have my white thread. And I'll come up from the base of that hole. And just secure that button on a couple of times going around. And then for that smaller button up top, just want to leave a little space in between so I have room to tack my scarf down. Because that little button has four holes, I want to make sure I have those holes lined up correctly. And I'll tack those down as well. I think I'm just going to make an X pattern here. And then I'll come over here and attach my other two buttons and we'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. 
So there I have my base and my head for my snowman. And now I wanna add the little hat piece. So I just hold it in place and I want it to go right up against that head. And because it's vinyl, I just wanna tack around the perimeter. So I have my embroidery floss and I'll start right up top here. And I'll just make a few little stitches to hold it in place on one side of the hat and on the other. And then on the bottom. Now once I have that hat tacked into place, I want to make the brim. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit further from the edge of the hat, right to the base. I'll make a stitch over. And I'm going to stitch right through that base. And I'll make a stitch right over here on the other side of that brim and bring it right to the hat. So there I'm getting the snowman complete. I'll do the same thing with this hat and then we'll come back and take a look at what we have left and add our scarf. So now I stitched on my little hat pieces here and I didn't like that this hat, this square was too tall so I just snipped the edge off. thought that size was more appropriate. And now I just want to add some scarves. So I'm going to cut a length of ribbon and then I'll fold it in half and that's going to be my scarf. And I can trim down the size even further. I'm going to fold the center a little bit and I'll put a stitch there first so that it'll fit in between those buttons. I happen to have some embroidery floss. It was six strands and I took it apart, so it was only a couple of strands, just because I wanted a smaller piece. That seems to be a good length. So I'll make a little stitch to hold my ribbon together. Just a simple stitch. And now I'll fold that center in half. And I want to stitch that closed as well, but only at the center. I'll trim down my scarf so that one piece is a little bit longer than the other. And now I can just tack it in place. So that's where I want it to be trim off those edges before I get started, the tails from that knot. And now that's where I want my scarf to be. So I'll go down through the fabric, pulling that scarf into position, and then coming up and tacking it down. And it only needs a couple of stitches to hold it securely. I'll knot it off on the back and I'll do the same procedure with the scarf for the other snowman. And then I'll come back and show you the finished front piece. So now I have my completed front panel for my ornament. And there's the back panel with my knots. 
I could add additional stitching if I want, but I'm kind of happy with the way that looks. I'll take the ornament backing, place my panel on it, and now I'm going to stitch just a straight stitch to hold it in place. I'll complete the stitch, and then I'll show you the completed ornament. And there's my completed ornament. I have the front panel sewn onto the backing panel, just like that. So that's it. That's how I made my snowman. Now I used buttons and then I stitched the hat, but you can use any method that you like, stitching yo-yos out of fabric or just fabric scraps. I can't wait to see your work. Be sure to post it online with the hashtag Stitch the Season. And you can always tag me if you'd like. Be sure to come back tomorrow for prompt number six.